Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. For today's video, I'm going to showcase our new hero, Rickards, and we're going to take a look at Atlas Whale, specifically regarding the guild hunt. So yeah, our new guy, Rickert, really shines when paired with other assassins in a lot of content. I'm actually curious to see how Twilight Lands assassin bond, is that actually a little bit more possible now? That was one of the hardest bonds to do, even with assassins or with Bailey Hudson, but maybe with this new commander and Rickert, maybe just maybe uh we'll actually be able to think of the assassin bond in twilight as quite easy it's kind of like the vanguard bond right let's be honest when it comes to twilight lands that vanguard bond level is now my favorite hagridon leo crete and nafung i they just destroy everything it's so great and so easy I wonder if the same will be true for the Twilight Lands. I haven't tried yet. I'm looking forward to it. But for today, I'm going to take a look and dive a little deeper into my run and taking a look at some other people's runs for Atlas Whale using our new hero here, Ricker. He is a beast. And the new commander that we got uh, really is quite fun to have something different. I mean, assassins have been pretty neglected in this game so far, so we finally have a commander to go along with them. You can see there's only a few assassins in this game, one of them being unplayable. <laughs> but this buff here, uh, it really does allow for some interesting pairings and just like the Vagradon, Vagradon, Hagradon Vanguard one when three or more are deployed you get a bonus so this one you get uh, let's see damage of allied units is reduced and then in pvp damage and hp of allies is increased so you actually get a damage and hp boost in pvp battles so that's really cool as well I'm quite excited, honestly, to try that out in some other areas and see how it goes for sake of maybe Summit Arena. But that's another video altogether. So for today, I got lucky. I did get a plus two ultimate for my um, Rickert here. So we're going to go ahead and showcase a run. I'm going to play the run and kind of talk through it and show you guys how it goes. But yeah, Atlas Whale, for the sake of guild hunt, I mean, mine's not open now, but <laughs> Atlas Whale here, um, it's tough, but there's a couple really specific strategies that go along with Atlas Whale that you can do, but that's going to be a separate video. This is not going to be an Atlas Whale guide. This is just going to be how showcasing, this is going to be showcasing our new hero and how he can pair well in a team against this boss specifically. So let me get to that right now. All right. So first I'll show you my class technology. I do have my crit and attack maxed for assassins i will be working on the hp next just for survivability's sake now that i know i'll be using them more often so let's go ahead and we're on atlas well 11 and this is really amazing so this is my setup here we have the new commander we have praying eyes prism amulet and flashpoint everyone is on manual so what we're going to do is just go ahead and make sure Masrani keeps everyone alive. Rakana is very squishy, so I went ahead and put him in damage reduction boots. Now, we're going to wait to use everyone's ultimates. Oh, never mind. Rakana died. <laughs> Pause. This is what happened to me a few times. I'm not going to lie. There was a couple bad, just bad RNG, bad luck, whatever. We're kind of jumping to the wrong place where I restarted, but it was totally worth it, honestly, totally worth it. Even in the damage reduction boots, he still died a couple of times if I didn't catch the heal fast enough from Masrani. So, all right, now this time I was ready with the heal. Perfect. So instantly make sure we heal everybody up. Now we're not going to use any of these ultimates just yet. All right, that shield is ticking down 
and the multiplier is going up. As soon as that multiplier hits like 900, start pumping out these ultimates. Boom, boom, boom. Click everyone's ultimates. And we just smash. I might have been a little late on one, so starting at 925 was a bit risky. And then we're just going to hold Masrani's ultimate until we need it for the heal. So same thing again. You can see the shield is ticking down and the multipliers are going. All right, this actually confused me. Did you notice it said 925% the second I went in? Confused me. So I popped the other couple early, but as long as we keep Bailey and Rickert till the end you're fine but if we can actually just wait for everyone to at least 800 900 percent and then pop them all you're gonna get maximum damage from their ultimates so here we go again we're I'm gonna heal with Masrani in the meantime waiting for that to tick up to 900 percent and all right 850 I'm gonna start popping the little ones it's fine 900 popping all of them and massive damage from Rickard. So this is totally worth being able to manual to really maximize your damage. Now I'm going to admit I first went ahead and did this on full auto like a total noob. Definitely didn't get 1.4 billion damage when I did it on full auto. It was terrible. The damage was absolutely terrible because you really want to wait to maximize your damage when you get that multiplier at its highest. It's just like using the hunter team with like Emma. If you're using like Emma and Azina, Pregor, Taylor, although it's best to wait, same thing, until to use Emma's ultimate especially until it reaches like 900% as well. So same idea, same kind of strategy. Now this is fighting the Atlas well when the boss is above 50%. So the typical teams like with Brynhild, with um, Emma, Xena, or whoever is going to be great. This is another team that's really great now to use when the boss is above 50%. Now there's a special team that people often use when the boss is below 50%. But that's, again, that's another video. I'm going to do a proper updated guide on the Atlas Whale in the future so we can kind of talk about it. But, man, it is it is fun. So let's take a look at some of my others here. So I did 1.4 billion damage after doing 1.2 because I realized I actually messed up. I had Rakana out of crit rate set. Not gonna lie, I messed up one of my sets. So, all right, actually, let's let's go ahead. Let's look at my builds, and then I'm gonna come back at the end and show you some of the other comps and crazy damage that my guildmates did against the other uh, Atlas Whale, the lower level one. Like I think it was Atlas Whale Eight. That one you don't even need a healer, so you can just go full damage, and the numbers are amazing, especially. Again, given that this, the above 50% health on the Atlas Whale, it's hard. But all right, Rakana's here. Not crazy stats, but solid as you see. Just want to showcase what I'm working with. All right, um, we didn't use Randall for this. My Randall is built for more tankiness. Bailey here is not crazy. My Bailey's actually in like crit rate gloves, but I got crit damage via the sets and substats. So he could be a lot better, but he's solid. He's fine. He's almost 300% crit rate. It's not our crit damage. It's not too bad total. And then he does have EX 30. Now we have Ricker, our new amazing hero. I have him in full attack gear, but crit rate, or crit damage, and then attack percentage stats. And we're only needing a lower crit rate. I aimed for about 30 because he does boost crit uh, depending on his, his kit's really quirky for the sake of adding extra crit rates. So you don't actually really need to build him with full crit rate. It allows you to build him more focused on attack and crit damage, which is quite nice, honestly. I did also have Taylor in this team, so I figured I'd show my Taylor. And yeah, he's pretty strong. Not too bad. Basic crit rate, 70%-ish. But yeah, that's all. And all right, let's go to my guildmates. All right, this was Atlas Well 8, as I said. So let's take a look. Ricky Maru here. 1.8 billion damage with 1.1 of Rickert doing it all on his own. His kit is just so great for 
going against this whale and pairing with other assassins. It's so interesting because you wouldn't think of them as being the best option, but it really does do a good job. Look at those stats. So of course we have Rez boosting Ricker in this bat in this because we didn't need Mazrani. This lower of a level, everyone can survive well enough without a proper healer. So with that in mind, it just allowed for us to pump out so much extra damage that you can't do on the higher levels necessarily because of that, but maybe, maybe with some in-maxing. But here's another 1.6 billion damage, and he did use a healer. So this was with Emma, Taylor, and then two of the assassins. So that was interesting, just taking advantage of his kit as well. All right, so I should end here, actually. I keep saying talking about his kit. Let's take a quick look at it, right? So he has this special damage. Let's see, these sword souls. So let's see. Grants one sword soul to all allied assassins. When a hero with a sword soul performs a basic attack, the sword soul will attack with them, inflicting 40% of Rickard's attack damage to the enemy. So it's almost like an ally attack, like... His special skill does extra damage when he has other assassins in the team. He also gains extra crit rate of all allies with Sword Soul. So this is what allows you to build him with lower crit rate. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying his kit lends well to this. He also has a boost of crit damage here and just extra damage as well and then here um every time he absorbs one soul sword soul he's healed for eight percent of max hp so that's actually really interesting it gives him a little extra survivability as well so this is gonna really lend itself well to arena as well and hopefully some other areas of the game but yeah this is just such a unique kit i really like him and i hope let's see what is the ex30 enhanced skill ultimate for every two sword souls performs one extra slash okay so this is definitely an ex30 worth getting if you are gonna focus on this assassin team if you care highly about arena and you really are enjoying your new fancy assassin team with our new commander it's great or if you care about atlas well if you're trying to really push your atlas well damage and you're looking for that team as a core to do when the boss is above 50 percent health this is your answer it's a solid team and that is going to be amazing for this so personally i'm working on my ex30 for daniel right now after daniel i'm probably gonna go to ricker for my next ex30 but i only have so many resources it takes a while to get all of them up so it is what it is but yeah he's amazing and i hope you guys are enjoying playing with him if you're debating about pulling him do remember that his kit does kind of depend on him being with other allied assassins and also again pairing really well with the commander that needs three assassins in one team so i wouldn't necessarily suggest him if you don't have a bailey hudson to pair with him at least unless you want, you're going to limit his uh, ability his damage you're going to limit his damage because he can do more damage based on building him for with less crit rate because you can build him with more crit damage or attack percentage instead so keep that in mind and i'm loving him already though i'm going to try to have some more guides in the future with him or some examples of pushing some content but yeah i'm, I'm not regretting my summons for him for sure hope you guys have fun and i'll see you in the next video